Keith Gibbs, born the 21st of July, 1942. Keith was born in Catterstock back in the 1940s during the, during the height of World War II. Keith met a lovely woman named Ruth and they married in the 1960s. Keith and Ruth would go on to have three children and later in 2003 I was born. Those are my grandparents. From the moment I was born my grandparents were always in my lives. Whether that be at the house or whether I would see them every weekend. Me and my granddad shared a love for Yeovil Town Football Club. It was evident from the moment I was born that I would be football mad and yeah, I am now. I'm incredibly football mad and a lot of that is due to my granddad and how he passed down how he passed down football to his to his kids and what my dad and my uncle were also huge in football. And that was the thing I shared most with my granddad. Ball played into Wepson! Is that the goal that sends Yeovil to Wembley? I went to my first game in 2011. It was Yeovil versus Bournemouth and we drew 2-2 that day. I fell in love with the entire match day experiences. The, the atmosphere, weirdly the smells, the sounds, everything. I fell in love with the entire experience and went non-stop from that day on. I went with my granddad, I went with my dad, my uncle, everyone was involved and I so badly wish I still had that. However, my granddad was diagnosed with dementia in 2017 and later diagnosed with Alzheimer's in 2019. His condition pretty much got worse during the end of 2018 and that's when I stopped going to football. And yeah, a lot of people see football as just a sport, but for me it was it was so much more. You know, it was time I could spend with my family, it was time... It, it was the thing I enjoyed most doing. Spending time with my granddad, spending time with my nan before match days, going to the club shop, moaning pretty much every two minutes about how bad we were. I enjoyed everything. Beavers only as far as Upson, shooting chance for Upson, Upson goes for yeah. goal, he scored for Yeovil Town from 20 yards and Upson does it again, he scored in the playoff semi-final, a crucial goal at Hewish Park, he scored Yeovil Town's first ever championship goal, Ed Upson puts Yeovil Town ahead, it's Millwall nil, Yeovil Town won. I'd wait all week at school just for a Saturday, Saturdays were always the best day of the week, it was just... I loved every minute of just getting up early, going to my grandparents. I loved, I loved going out in the garden, helping my granddad with whatever I could, or going on a walk with him, whether that be down the village or up to Charmington Manor. We did a lot of things that realistically were, I will always hold on to for the rest of my life. One more attack, one more clearance, and still Andy Derso. Hasn't even glanced at his watch, he has now. And he has blown the whistle to set off Yeovil's celebrations. Just ten years ago, they were playing in the conference. Next season, Yeovil Town will be playing in the championship. The problem was, I never felt safe taking Grand to football, nor did I really... When he got that bad, I never really enjoyed going out on a walk with him. It was, it became dangerous, and so and my nan felt that as well. We both felt the same way and thought it wouldn't be a very good idea anymore. As much as it hurt, it was it was for the best. But the hardest part of it was knowing I'll never be able to experience any of that again. As did pass away in May 2020. It's still quite hard to take in, really. However, I'm still over it. I see my nan every weekend. I go over there as I normally would. It's Aaron Davis. He could win it. He probably has won it for Yeovil. That could be the last blow that Forrest, punch drunk Forrest, can possibly take. And the men from Somerset are celebrating. Wembley Beckham. But the game, the game I regret 
that my granddad didn't go and watch with us was the League One playoff final in 2013. You know, I was 10 at the time and I'd never been to, I'd never been to a cup final and to watch my team that I cherished for however many years was amazing. It just would have, it would have been so much better if he had been there to witness it as well. It was such a shame that he did have such a problem with travelling because if he didn't, then he would have been, I imagine we would have gone to many other games, many away trips, probably gone to see a few Bristol Rovers games as he supported Bristol Rovers too. But I know how much he cherished those games for me. And every time I went, he enjoyed it. And I enjoyed it just the same. <laughs>